be out there, right? But can't be there, so at least you're here. So whatever it takes, guys, to make yourself at ease. I found a uh, masseuse that actually comes over nowadays. For 100 bucks, <laughs> it's not bad. Okay, so let's get back into, let's start, guys. Um, where do we begin, Alex? Where do we begin? There's so many things to talk about today. So first of all, today is today started actually very slow. You know, there's not much stuff because we were waiting for PPSI to. I was hoping PPSI gave us started gapping up, but then it gapped down. So the problem with these stocks is really scary because yesterday was all the way up, so it came down so much, and SSR got turned on. And so it trapped big time. It, it halted here, went all the way up. And let me show you what I did. Oh, shit. PPSI. So, you know, was shot up. I, let me see, let me see, let me zoom out. There you go. So of course, you know, what it does is it, it gives you a false sense of security, confidence, made money because you know what? It was under VWAP, this line is VWAP, PPSI. So of course, you know, standard sort of VWAP cover down on the first wash. And then, okay, as it came back up, cool. You know, I, I took the same rejection hope because I thought it'd be a continuation day down, guys, to be honest, because it's like, okay, broken stock. But then next thing you know, man, Next you know, freaking out of hell, shot up. So I didn't was not that much size on this, so I was okay. So I recovered. Once it shot up, I, I pretty much took a little more, but then I covered right away. Dude, it went all the way up to like, geez, man, I'm just like $9 or some shit like that, it's crazy. But anyway, so I didn't lose that much. I'm actually green on PPSI by like 50 bucks. Okay, the problem is this. This is the problem. Okay, the problem is P-E-T-Z. That is the problem. Look at this sucker. This is where the shit happens. Because P-T-E-Z, man, if you take a look, this is, this is a broken stock from yesterday. This is, this is P-E-T-Z. It's a broken stock from yesterday, guys. So I was like, okay, man, $6, I'm gonna scale in. Maybe right here, I'm gonna scale in some size because of this, and then it should fade back down. That is 90% of the time is a winning trade. 90% of the time, that strategy is a winning trade, except today, because <laughs> it's November. So what happens in November, guys, is that they have what's called the turkey effect. So around Thanksgiving's next week or something, and there's a lot of crazy plays, man, especially towards the end of the year, when the end of the year comes. Dude, why is my camera so dirty? When the end of the year comes, a lot of companies, what they need to do is they need to close the book strong. So they pump a lot of these things up, guys, and they want to get rid of the paper, do financing, what they need to do, right, guys? So you better be very careful with doing Thanksgiving. It's also a very low volume week during the holiday, so they use that as well to pump it but let's take a look at how p e t z fucked me up okay this is a very good example here guys let me see let's go back here so pts i mean i wanted it to go up i wanted it to go up so that i can get some size because this stock is supposed to be dead it was seven dollars it's 550 and so I'm like, dude, I went in. So that's what happened here. You know, went back. I'm like, dude, it shot up because a pumper pumped it up and it halted all the way up. And that's fine. This is still okay. I was still okay. Notice I recovered. I shorted the top. I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. That, that must be it. That must be it. So it went under VWAP. So I covered it. So I was okay here. And then when it started to go up, okay, I'm going to take some, some short trades because this was the top so i used the outer lines and i shorted it. normal next you know boom it, it fucking halted two times went all the way up and that's what i fucking got I, I just got destroyed there destroyed is not that bad because i still my max size was six thousand shares each account so twelve thousand shares was my max size guys i had twelve thousand share max size on this so i mean but twelve 
thousand shares on a dollar move is still like a big fucking loss, right? Not only did it go up one time, it halted two times, it went three fucking times, all the way up to nine fucking dollars, guys. Nine dollars. This was six dollars and eighty cents. Went all the way up to nine dollars. You're just dead. How do you? I mean, if if you had fucking went all in, you're dead. Okay, this is a nine million share float. If you take a look at this, I I did not use a hard stop. You guys should use a hard stop. If you put a hard stop over the high of day, this would not happen. Uh, there's no way I thought it'd be three fucking things. But I I kind of like. So what happened was this, guys. I was actually down. I was down like fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars, okay, to, on the day. But then, so what happened was that, that's still under my max loss. So I used two counts on this, and so each count was like ten thousand max loss. So I'm still under my twenty thousand max loss, right? Yeah, my max loss is a little fucking high, but um, you know, I trade we we trade bigger than most people, but um, so it wasn't that. I mean. 16 grand. I mean, I, I, I'm just like, what the fuck happened, right? I mean, dude, that sucks, dude. But the, this is what I'm going to tell you, man. Shit happens. You got to learn from your mistakes. So what, what saved me was having a max size, guys, where, okay, maybe I lost only $8,000 to each count. So I was still okay. I calmed the fuck down. Then I started to trade normal. And I whittled down my loss. Let me show you my loss, man. Holy shit. So one account is only 2,600. So that's very small. That's not bad, dude. That's pretty much like almost, <laughs> that can make that back in like half a day. Easy on that, right? Um, and this other account was a 3,600. So I went from an a $16,000 loss to $6,000 loss. I mean, shit happens, guys. Shit fucking happens. I mean, dude, how do you recover from this shit? I went back to my bread and butter. Let me show you again. The moment Pet Z topped out, you don't need to see the prices, but just take a look at the red. The red arrow means sell. The green arrow means buy. As long as the red over the green, I'm making money, right? So I fucking got destroyed on this fucking move up here. $16,000 loss on this move back up here. And I'm like, fuck, okay. So what I did was, okay, the top is set. I'm going back to the MIC process. And all I did was short the outer line and fucking channel trade the fuck out of it. And I made back most of my losses. So there was all these, I mean, boom. And I, I didn't fucking deviate from the process. I didn't fucking go and revenge trade 50,000 shares of this. If I did that, who knows? I'd probably be up a lot, but that's not how we do it, guys. What if this thing went to a fucking $20? So all I did was I controlled myself and I said, you know what, man, I'm a good trader. The process fucking works. Shit happens. This is one in 10 that it fucking happens, but it happens. And so what can you do? You can mitigate your risk by putting a hard stop or just chilling the fuck out and accepting the loss. I accepted that loss. 16,000 turned to 14,000 to 12,000 to 10,000. Now I'm only down to $6,000 loss across two counts. So that's not that bad. The key was to stay calm, stick to your fucking process. This was a fucking anomaly. So what happened was they, they, they fucking short squeeze. Whoever wanted out got the fuck out. Whoever short, they fucking, they got, they blown the short out. And I've seen this algo so many times where I know that you cannot fucking chase a short on the bottom. You cannot chase a buy on the top. So, so what I did was I, all I did was fucking went back to my line. I drew my fucking line and you know, this dude, I scaled around this fucking line. It's symmetrical as hell, right? And so every time I went back there, I fucking short, I scale it and I covered it down. If you do this enough, guys, 50 cents, 50 cents, 50 cents, it adds up to $2 of gains. So I made back my, most of my losses on not that many size, guys. I was probably in like 7,000 shares, that's it, okay? On these fucking tops right here, across two counts. So it was only 7,000 shares. But 7,000 shares making fucking five fifty cents each over and over and over and over. And now, you know, now fucking Pet Z is fucking down. So if it goes back up here, I'm gonna fucking short it. But it has not, so. Any questions there, guys? So, shit happens. This is fucking turkey week. You need to be fucking prepared for these things to happen. The, the reason I'm able to fucking survive, because I did not panic. Before you enter any stock, we always talk about like, you need to pre-plan 
and have nowhere to enter, where to exit for both a winner and a loss. So I already knew, I already knew like before I entered, okay, man, if I was in this much size, how much could I possibly lose? I didn't think I was gonna lose 16 fucking thousand dollars. I didn't think this thing was gonna ter- teleport three fucking dollars up. No one can fucking account for that, right? So this is ongoing. That's what you got to learn for yourself. How much, I mean, so I, I took the fucking loss. That's the thing. So I took the fucking loss so I can cap my loss. The moment I cap my loss, now I can re-examine what am I going to do. I fucking took a breather. I, I chilled the fuck out, you know, uh, and then I was like, dude, reassess the situation. I can either take the loss and go home and I'm fine. Because you know what, man? That's what max dating loss is for, guys. We have so many people blown up recently because they don't have max dating loss. But if you said you're max dating loss, why the fuck are you... It sucks, but you should not die. If you hit your max day loss and you are fucking curled up in a ball in the corner, then your max day loss is way too big, guys. You need to lower your max day loss. So as much as it sucks for me, I am now only down $6,000 across three accounts. I mean, two accounts. So it's only $3,000 a account, which is like, I am completely fine. Max daily loss. Set that shit to whatever you're comfortable and not curled up in the ball when you take the max daily loss. It could be a day of work, two days of work for you, okay, guys? For me, that's just my number. Um, if, I'm th- if I'm down twenty fucking thousand dollars it fucking sucks like a shit, but you know what, man? I'm, I, I'm, I'm okay. You know, um, maybe I should lower it if I'm not okay with it, right, guys? So for you, it could be whatever you want. So notice my max daily loss was 16 grand. I was... And I took that loss. It fucking sucked, but it's fine. Eight thousand dollars across uh, each account, so I was like, okay, I can make it back. Um, but for you, it could be whatever it could be, guys. So you need to set the max daily loss to an appropriate level that you can make back your loss and not be curled up in the ball. And that's what people don't understand. People, they don't think that they ever need training wheels. Some people call it fucking training wheels. It's fucking disgusting what they fucking call it as. But you know what, man? Uh, those are the same guys who lose millions of dollars. Let me take a look at what these plays are doing right now. I'm still training these. These are right now giving me great channel training. So we in the morning, man, it's very rare I lose in the morning. Because in the morning, it's all pre-planned trades. Uh, there's hardly anything that... Oh, shit. Pet Z. There is hardly anything that is, is, is really surprising. Because most of the losses come during the zombie hours guys are you adding adding to a loser i'm gonna post on twitter guys a link that you should all go to watch go to my twitter after i get off this i'm gonna post this this is the aha moment that i got which basically changed my entire trading career okay it talks about risk management and it talks about all this stuff guys so i'm gonna post on twitter make sure you watch it and so today I'm like, dude, okay, these socks are broken. I'm gonna fucking like, I'm, I, I don't need, I, I told the room, I don't need to make back the losses in one trade. I do not need to make the loss back today. I'll make it when I make it. And that's the thing people don't understand. A lot of these guys, they, they revenge trade. I didn't revenge trade, you know, I'm, I kept my fucking cool. Take a look at my charts, I'll post it at the end as well. I kept my fucking cool. I didn't revenge trade, I waited for my lines. I didn't slam it, I didn't slam it. You know, back in the day, when you're young, when I was a younger trader, I would get pissed because I'm like, okay, man, I got I lost on the short, so I'm gonna switch position to the long, and that's how you double your losses. Okay, uh, the moment I got squeezed on the fucking thing, I, I fucking stopped out. Imagine now you go long, then you do lose again because it's gonna tank down. So you need to reassess. You can't just when you're losing, do not switch sides because your brain's already fucked up. When you are winning, you can switch sides. So yesterday, I switched from long to short to long to short. I was fine on PPSI. I was switching because I was winning. I was able to make the calls. I was able to read the charts. But when you're losing, the dumbest shit you got to do is switch sides. Because you already don't know what the fuck you're doing. You've already planned on to be long or short. And then you lose and you switch. Like, what the hell, right, guys? You cannot do that. So that's the thing. People always ask, should I switch biases during the trade? You can only if you're winning. Because then if you're winning, you know what the fuck you're doing. You're not fucking just reacting to 
to to fucking like you know because losing is like a very emotional thing guys let me put some orders in i still have these uh so what i'm doing is i am channel trading and if the channel breaks and i am done but you know um but it, it seems like it's been going the same channel but who knows man eventually it'll break up or down so Pet Z broke on the downside now, so now I can move my lines down. I was up at 867. 867 is a dollar lower now, so I am okay. There's still a lot of meat on the on the bone here, guys. I don't need to make back my money today. Tomorrow could be another day. Okay, I'm gonna st uh, I'm gonna stop here and take a pause. Okay, so you know what 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 happened, guys? I lost, and but I didn't revenge trade. I worked my way down very slowly, methodically. Now PPSI is bouncing. Holy cow. Wow. Now leads me back to the question I, I proposed, okay guys? Is trading a scam? I just lost, man. I just fucking lost. And a lot of guys like, okay, there's a scam for two reasons, okay? Is it a scam because no one can make money? That's obviously not true. I've taught a lot of people to make money consistently. I make money. There's years where I only made like, I only had 12 red days, seven to 12 red days, entire calendar year, 200 something days of winning, right there, guys? Three months, four months in a row. Alex, Alex is up over $3 million this year. Today, you only lost, you know, I'm so proud of him, he only lost like 2,400 bucks or something ridiculously low like that. His stop on Pet Z was 7.44. Okay, Pet Z went to $9.40. His stop was fucking phenomenal. Today, his trading is better than some of the green days he has. So you take a look, guys. Don't just judge your days by P&L. Judge by how well you trade it. Okay, so if you want to go back, take a look. Some of the best days I've had is the days I... I fucking lost, but I lost minimally, okay? Versus like people getting blown up like yesterday on PPSI. Today, I would, I would consider myself, okay, man, today was actually not a bad day. I worked myself out of it. It sucked, but it gives me the confidence to keep knowing that I, I can make the money back without revenge trading. So go back to your days that you lose very small and study those days, guys. Study those days to see how you can replicate those. When you lose, you better make sure the days are, the losses are much smaller than your winners. Okay, guys? And that's the only way you become profitable. And that's the thing people don't tell you. And I'm going to post my link to my Twitter. I mean, the, to, I, I wrote the whole fucking article on that shit. So hold on. Let me see. Oh, shit. PPSI. I'll show you all this after I'm done, guys. Fucking pet Z though. Okay. Pet Z can trap his SSR. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold on, one second. So it's trading a scam. Okay. People think it's a scam for two reasons. The first reason, obviously, this is the furu, the, not the furu, but the, the, the trolls. The trolls and the haters think it's a scam because they don't make money. Just because they don't make money means that everybody should not be able to make money. These guys are so fucking arrogant. They never ask for help. They don't, they don't think they, they didn't think they know everything. And so if they lose, it must be a scam. No one can make money. Well, guess what, guys? There's a lot of people that make money. Otherwise, the stock market would not yield so many billionaires out there, right, guys? So you can make money. And Alex proves it. Everybody I taught proves it. There's guys at MIC that proves it. The way you make money is losing less than you make. Winners, right, guys? And that leads to risk management. So that's parts discovered. You guys all know trading is not a scam because... We can make money. We've proven this. 
decades, decades proven this. As long as you have a proven strategy, coupled with good risk management. Where you lose, guys, is you can make money 20, 30 days in a row, but then one day wipes you out. Okay, and that's the one thing that you do not want, guys. So that's where risk management max daily loss comes in. Everybody that blows up does not have max daily loss. Max fucking daily loss. We have to bribe people. We have to give away t-shirts for people to fucking put on their max daily loss. That's how we, and we're the only ones talking about this, by the way, guys. No one's gonna fucking talk about risk management except us. So, but that is the key. So number two is also, it's just a scam. It is a scam when you're chasing alerts. I don't, we, every day we get asked this. Do you, Post alerts. Do you screen share? Do you share your trades? Do you alert people? No, we do not. Wait, who is it? Oh, who's this? I gotta block something. Who's this fuck you guy? Oh, jeez. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm gonna block some of these guys. Um, it is a scam when you are chasing alerts. Because those guys are front loading you. They're in that shit before you. How the hell can you make money? How are you able to make money, guys? You're able to make money because you're the fastest sheep. <laughs> and rest gets trampled over, right, guys? So that is a scam. But you're not being, you're the one being scammed, okay? Trading is not a scam. They, those guys cannot trade, so therefore they alert. I don't want to get into this a lot, but that's how they fucking do it. What are we missing here, Alice? Okay, this is how you combat scams, guys. You educate yourself. Education is the key, okay? Wait, who's this fuck you guy all the time? I'm going to block him too. So I blocked that fuck you guy. Um, we have a webinar that we built. Alex spent months on this. I've. Uh, it's called. It's at. Can you post a link to someone? Myinvestingclub.co. It's a free. Free webinar, and I'll, I'll give you a little secret, guys. <laughs> Uh, if you're not in MIC, watch that because it'll be a very good surprise at the end for you guys. There's a discount at the end. Oh, shit, I shouldn't say that, but watch that webinar, guys. Okay, we spent a lot of time on it. Thank you, Alex. He spent a ton of time on it. Man, Alex, L-A-Z-R and E-V-G-O, man, keeps fading. Oh, I looked at those two. They didn't bounce enough for me to get into it. So myinvestingclub.co, not .com. Go there, guys. I'm gonna give it a little fucking secret, man. You go there. At the, you watch it at the end. You gonna get a nice discount. <laughs> um, we shouldn't have said that, but or text Tosh, guys. Text Tosh. I just want people to watch this webinar because you know what, man. This webinar is fucking great. It's gonna teach you a lot of the things that we teach in MIC. Okay, it gives you a flavor. But if you're in MIC right, don't watch it. There's no reason for you to watch because you already have all the videos, the full reference videos. What else is there, Alex? What am I missing? Today is a, you know, man, today sucks, but you know what? I, 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 I want to tell you something, man. I am still here. There are guys out there that are pumpers in pump rooms that they lost today and they just took off before them. Within 15 minutes, they pump, they lose, they leave. They leave their members stranded. I mean, dude, if you're in one of these fucking rooms, I'm not going to call out whoever. You already know whoever. If these motherfuckers are losing, and they're not sticking around to educate you on their losses. Why the hell are you paying them? Seriously, we are tired of giving discounts. I'm not going to give a discount. If you ask for us, I tell Tosh, man, if you're coming and you're losing from a pump room, why should we discount you because you lost all your money when you know better? These guys are not there to help you guys. That guy, I'm not mentioning his name, he lost today on Pet Z Long, got flushed, and he took off. Every day they're, they're, they're like that. Either they're fucking taking some fucking bullshit trader nap, they're fucking, fucking leaving because, of, or they're using stream, multiple avenues of streaming services to pump to you, and then when they lose, they leave. What are you learning? You're learning to be the biggest sheep out there, guys. You're not learning any fucking thing else except being the biggest fucking sheep. Let me fucking come some more of this thing. I'm not gonna say which one because I don't want anybody to front run me. <sighs> we are making money back slowly. 
slowly but surely. Anybody want to come on, guys? I want to bring. I want to bring someone on. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to trade at the same time. I want to bring someone on. Raise your hand. If you want to be on? We'll talk about whatever topic you want to talk about. Because I'm pretty much done with uh, what, I, what I want to say. Uh, it's really hard, guys, to come here when you're losing. And you're trying to focus on trying to, you know, make money and, you know, helping the room as well. Alex, you want to come on? Yeah, let me bring Alex on. Talk about his stop. Alex lost today too, guys. This is really together on the same day. And so there must be a lot of lessons that we can fucking learn from this guy. So, what's up, bro? Hey, hey. nice How haircut. He cleaned up. <laughs> nah, it's just probably the lighting. What's going on, man? Nothing, bro. Just, this is a yeah, weird bro. You, you explain. You explain a lot of stuff. But wait, before I start, this is my painting of Tosh that I have in my office. Oh yeah, everybody, everybody has their version of it. Yeah, yeah. I have mine too. I love it. Um, Maybe we should turn that to an NFT, dude. <laughs> might as well. Uh, what I want to talk about, bro, is kind of what you said too, bro. Is uh, main thing is November, man. November, November. We've been talking about it before November happened. We've been saying November is historic for the crazy runners. And in November, the only thing that's been saving me and keeping me alive is sizing down, bro. So like today on Pet Z, you know, I only had like. I don't know, 2,000 shares. So I lost a dollar a share on 2,000 shares. And it wasn't really the end of the world. Whereas if I had 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 shares, and I was just trying to load the boat, load the boat, load the boat, I could have easily lost 100 grand just being an idiot. So in November, guys, your goal is not to bank. It's not to say wear Lambo. It's not to do all these crazy things. Your job in November is to stay alive to get the easier plays in December. So November is teaching a lot of people a lot of bad habits, whether it be adding to a loser, whether it be sizing up when you're not ready. And what's going to happen is just like DWAC, there's going to be a trade that levels off everyone. There's going to be a stock that goes crazy. And when that happens, the easier. Because right, right now, Shorts are trampling over each other. Shorts are getting stuck. Shorts are in trouble. So in this market, just start. Try to stay alive. Be patient and remind yourself, hey, if you made money today or if you had a small loss today or if you controlled your loss today, that's better than 90% of the people. Because I know plenty of people yesterday that overtraded, that blew up on PPSI and missed out. That's the that I want to talk about, bro, which is what you and, and it is very it is very rare that Bao and I lose on the same day. It is very rare. The last time that happened was probably like six months ago, man. So it just goes to show that we are human. We lose too. And something that Bao mentioned to me that you guys should remember too is you only need to get rich once. So make your money. Walk away and make sure you don't lose it. Yep. I mean, we said right there, I, I mean, we have so many haters, Alex. I mean, I, I, I just started blocking more people every fucking day. It's, it's, it's the, these guys, guys, they, they call it a scam because they cannot make money. Yeah. And the reason they can't make money is because they have no discipline. They don't understand whatever the hell is going on. I mean, why don't you share with, with everybody your uh, how is your year going so far? Because, you know, I don't think people have heard it enough, Alex, because, you know, Alex is very humble. He doesn't really talk about this. But you imagine if another if another guru from another chat service makes this kind of money, you would damn hear about it every fucking five minutes. <laughs> right? Yeah, and it's, it's so what are we at? We're at November 11, and I'm up. Three million dollars this year, maybe even more. I haven't really checked my numbers, Absolutely. but yeah. yeah, and it's it's crazy, guys, because last year, last year was a last year was the year that I wanted to show everyone what happens if you stick to the MIC process. The MIC process tells you 
to focus on side plays, to attack day two plays, to size up when stocks are broken, and to walk away at 1030. So using that process of trading between 930 and 1030 last year, I made a little bit over a million dollars net after fees, after locates, after commissions, right? And this year, I did the same exact thing, exact same thing, trading, walking away at 1030. And here I am, triple the amount of money because there's been more opportunities this year. And I guarantee next year, if I do the same thing and walk away at zombie times and protect myself, it's going to happen again, guys. And this is the thing that people fail to realize is I am coming up on my eight-year trading anniversary in February. In February, I'm going to have been trading for eight years. And people ask me, like, how long did it take you to make money? How long did it take you to find consistency? The first year I traded, I lost money. The second year I traded, I broke even. The third year I traded, I started to make money. So it took me three years to start to make money. And it took me maybe another three years after that to make seven figures, right? So the point is, guys, that was before MIC. That was before we had a system. That, that was, was before we uh, knew what a zombie rule was. You know? You're, yeah, we're still learning. I mean, you're still learning back then, too. So, I mean, it's a progression. And, you know, you couple it with great market conditions, and that's what happens. Maybe next year you may or may not make as much. But that's okay. You take what the market gives you, right? So that's the thing. So there's a lot of guys that force it. So in the beginning of the year, a lot of easier opportunities to make a lot of money. And so these guys don't understand when to scale down and when to hit it hard. So talk about that, Alex, because that's what I think you do the best. Remember back in the day when we first met, you were sizing up in every fucking play. Yeah. And now you're I mean, I made a video on this, guys, but I want to kind of just explain it very briefly so you guys understand this. You are not allowed to size on every single setup that you see. Bao says the blackjack analogy the best. So imagine day trading is like blackjack, where you get to see your cards, and then you can bet on them. If you have a 15 and a dealer is showing a 20, why are you going to go all in? Wouldn't you want to rather go all in if you're showing the 20 and the dealer is showing the 15? In scenarios like that, guys, that's how you have to equate it to trading is I specifically and I patiently wait for my most profitable setup, which by now everyone knows my most personal profitable setup is the first red day setup. So I reserve my size for those setups only. And just for reference, um, my day-to-day -day size is anywhere between 2,000 to 5,000 shares. On OCGN first red day, I used 40,000 shares. So I am reserving and I am waiting to use my max size when the best opportunities present itself. And when there is no amazing opportunities, I size down to protect myself from days like today. Yep, exactly. So that's what, that was what, I mean, this, this is all part of the learning curve, guys. And so you can either spend your entire life trying to learn this. Most people will never learn it because they will go broke before they learn it. Or you can just pay someone. I hate that using the word pay because you know what you do, man? You, you're basically – we lost – You're going to school, bro. You're going to school. Do you think a doctor is going to go to school without paying $200,000 for med school? We're not $200,000. we are 90% <laughs> cheaper. But that's the point, guys. Before you operate on someone, before you want to be a surgeon, before you do anything, you have to pay your medical school. It is the same thing. MIC is day trading school. So before you want to become a professional day trader or AKA a professional doctor, you need to come to MIC, you need to join. Once you watch the videos, you get your degree and then you're ready to go into the real world and start earning money. But as a doctor for eight years, you are not earning money and then it explodes. So be patient guys. I'm not saying it's gonna take you eight years. I'm not saying it's gonna take forever, but shit man, if it took me a few years to get to this level, it took James one year to make a quarter million dollars a year consistently with his eyes closed. James makes $1,000 a day every day with his eyes closed. Hey, he studied for a year. So why can't you guys do the same? Sacrifice one year of learning so you guys can change your life.
Yep, yep, exactly, man. And that's the thing. You're, you're paying for the experience so that you don't have to lose. That was a lot, I lost probably a million dollars learning all this shit. So you don't want to fucking lose a million dollars. There would be for- times maybe five years ago before MIC was even a thought that me and Bao would hold these shit every day. We would hold these stocks going for the all-day fader. Every stock, all-day fader. And then all of them would just reverse. And we had no idea why they would reverse. We didn't have any clue. We didn't have any... Uh, process for these stocks until we discovered the million dollar rule which is the zombie rule and that itself guys if you look at PETZ and PPSI today at 1030 is when they rebound so I mean this is the most important rule that we give away for free and people still don't fucking listen so the way to make money guys is not just learning these strategies and rules you need to create a repeatable process and that's how you make money trading trading you can make one off big gains and lose it all back but what you need to do is create a repeatable winning system just like football man just like any other athletic professional endeavor you can win one game but unless you have a routine down that's repeatable you're not going to be able to win a championship Exactly. And that's what we talk about in the webinar too, guys. So in the webinar, we talk about strategies that you could use, the process that you could use, and how you could repeat this strategy and process to make money, guys. So myinvestingclub.co is for non-members. And if you stay till the end, uh, we'll give you a discount to join. So that's it. So about... Yep, I I guess we gave away... Or uh, text Tosh. Tosh, can you post your number? Yeah, Tosh's number is 213... 458 5997. And again, guys, if you're watching this, this Thursday, this Thursday at 4 p.m., I am doing a trader clinic webinar for annual and lifetime members. So I'll see you guys then. Yep, guys. And uh, on the website, all the information is on myinvestingclub.com. Uh, Tasha's number, the webinar link is there, everything, guys. So, all right, guys, we'll see you next time. We'll see you back in the room, guys. Later.